The tune in today is in drop D. It's usually in C standard or drop C, but this is for those of you that haven't got a guitar that's already set up low and you'd like to play along with a song. This intro and verse riff starts off with these inverted power chords. Now first of all, if you don't know what inverted power chords are, they're basically power chords that are played from the fifth string, except we're changing the order of the notes. So basically, where we're playing here on the third fret, we're playing a C power chord from the fifth string. That's a C, and that's a G. We're basically moving this G over to here, on the lowest string on the fifth fret. That way we get this sound. It's a nice heavy low sound. It sounds a lot heavier than playing just your standard power chord from the fifth fret. So the first chord starts off with that one. So that's the third finger, fifth fret of the low string. First finger is on the first or is on the third fret of the fifth string. Okay, if you're not used to those chords. Watch out for them and make sure that the third finger is pushed up enough so that it doesn't get in the way of the first finger. That's the first chord. Then we go over to the first fret from the lowest string playing drop D style power chords. Down to the sixth fret. To the third fret. And then back to the first one. Now the only thing that could give you trouble if you're not used to those chords is going from the 3rd fret, the 2nd to last chord, to the 1st chord. So just practice that slowly, get used to that movement, and that's the intro and the verse part. Also over the verse you've got this lead. So this is the part that happens over the verse, we've got a lead bit. If you're used to playing lead, I'd recommend using a, the uh, method of a finger to a fret kind of thing and ignore the fingers I'm going to use now. But this is for those of you that are beginners and you haven't really done much lead and you just want to kind of break up your rhythm playing and just play a little bit of easy lead. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with our third finger on the eighth fret of the third string. Then we're going to go with our second finger to the seventh fret of the third string. Back to that 8th fret. Then we're going to go to the 5th fret with our 1st finger. Then back to 7, or sorry, 8 and then 7. Those 6 notes. Now throughout this, we're going to be doing uh, alternate picking, which we're going to be doing down, up, down, up, down, up. Just continuously throughout the whole thing. That's phrase 1. We're going to do that two times. Then we're going to do phrase two, which is this one. What we're doing here is we're playing eight, seven, same thing again as we did before. Okay, and then we're going to roll our finger up, our third finger, we're going to roll it up to the eighth fret of the fourth string, and then back down. So we've got. Okay, and then back to that seven. That's phrase two, we're gonna play that two times. Phrase three. What we're doing here, same sort of thing, we've got eight, seven, eight, as you've done before. Then with our first finger, we're gonna to go to the sixth fret of the fourth string. And then back to eight, seven. You play that one two times. Then the full phrase. Now all we're doing is the same as we did in the last one, apart from we're moving the first finger down to the fifth fret. So that's eight, seven, eight, and then the first finger goes to the fifth fret of the fourth string, and then back to your eight, seven. You only do that part once, and then you're gonna play, and that was playing eight, seven, on the third string, back to that eight, and then we're going to go with our first finger to the 6th fret of the 2nd string. 
and then back to our 8 7. So we got that whole riff played slowly. Now you're also going to use that last bit that I just did. That part, that's how you're going to start the, uh, the second verse. So when we do the second verse, there's no rhythm behind it. There's just this part, etc. But we're going to start it off by playing the end of it and then going to the beginning of it. So we're going to go... This is the pre-chorus riff, we're going to be playing this all with power chords from the low string. Most of it's going to be palm muted, and each note is going to be, or each chord is going to be played six times. First of all, we're going to play the fifth fret, we're going to play that six times. Okay, then we're going to go down to the third fret, we're going to play that six times. Back to the fifth fret. And then the first fret. So make sure you palm it in all of these. That's the first half. And that second half, what we're doing is the five, three, and then we're going to do one, three. Okay, those two parts together. Okay, you're going to play that all again, apart from you're only going to change one bit. When you get to the second half of it, and you're playing the last two chords where you play the first fret to the third fret, you're going to take the palm muting off. So if I just play that second half, you're going to play... This is the lead guitar that happens over the chorus riff. If you're uh, good at lead guitar, what I'd recommend is going to try and transcribe it yourself. Try and work it out. If you can't work it out, come back and watch the video. But if you've been playing lead for a bit, I'd definitely recommend trying to work it out. It's quite easy, so have a go at it. If you obviously haven't been playing lead, this is for you. We're going to start off with our first finger on the 8th fret of the 4th string. We're going to play that once. Then we're going to go to the 10th fret with the third finger, same string, we're going to play that two times. Then we go down with our first finger to the seventh fret of the third string. Then eight with the second finger, same string. Back to that first finger on the seventh fret. So we've got... Then we're going to do a pull off from the eighth fret using the second finger so the first finger on the seventh fret, and then we're going to move our first finger down to the fifth fret of the third string. So all of that phrase one. Okay, and I'd recommend practicing all of these in phrases. So take your time with it, get phrase by phrase down, and then put them all together. The second phrase. What we're doing here is we're putting our first finger on the 8th fret of the 3rd string. Then we're going to play the 10th fret with our 3rd finger on the 3rd string. Back to that 8th fret. 
Then we're going to do a pull off from 10 to 8. And then we're going to put our first finger on the 7th fret of the 1st string. So all of phrase 2. Phrase 3. What we're doing there, 1st finger, 12th fret of the 1st string. 13 with the 2nd finger. Back to 12. Pull off from 13 to 12. And then we're going to play the first finger on the 10th fret of that same string. Okay, and then the full phrase, all we've got to do is play. And that's playing the first finger on the 8th fret of the 1st string. Third finger is going to be on the 10th fret of the 1st string. And first finger is going to play the 8th fret of the 2nd string. All together, nice and slow. The last bit you need to know is the bridge riff. And what we're doing, first of all, we start off, we're doing these inverted power chords again. So basically the chords that we would be playing would be on the 5th fret, and we'd be playing... So that's the 1st fret from the 5th fret. Sorry, the 1st fret from the 5th string, excuse me. Okay, and then you're going to go down to 5, 4, 1, 2... And all of those are power chords from the 5th string. But what we're going to do is we're going to invert them. So where we would usually play the 5th fret on the A string, we're going to play it like this. So basically the 3rd finger is going to be on the 7th fret of the low string, and then the 1st finger is going to be on the 5th fret of the 5th string. Okay, now how that bridge starts off was we play two of those first of all. So that's basically the first fret power chord, except inverted. So third finger is on the third fret of the low string, and first finger is on the first fret of the fifth string. You play that two times, then you go down to the fifth fret, or should I say from the third finger would be on the seventh fret. Okay, so seven, five. Then we slide down one. So we're going to be on six and four. Then we come back down to that first one that we did, where we're doing three and one, and then we slide up one, so that we'd be on four and two, and that whole thing. Okay, if you're not good at doing these inverted power chords, you could just play it from the 5th string. It doesn't sound as heavy, but it still works, so you could play...